Hi, this is Kevin Kerr from Money and Markets TV. Last year, across many parts of the U.S., it was the coldest winter in three decades. The eastern seaboard plunged to a record minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, with most re weather records broken. Snowstorms shattered New York City in December 2010 and January 2011 to become the snowiest January ever recorded. Now, many forecasters are predicting 2011 to 2012 could be even worse. So, as an investor, how can you come in from the cold and potentially make some big money on this extreme weather this winter? If you're looking to take advantage of the frigid weather, there are several key commodities that can benefit from the plunging mercury. The most direct ones that can be affected are the heating fuels, such as heating oil, natural gas, and propane. So it may be worth looking at some call options on heating oil futures for this winter. But expect to pay a seasonal premium. Gasoline prices also tend to go up in winter because of mandated blending requirements in certain states. However, another commodity that can deliver big profits due to cold temperatures and is not on the radar screen of many investors is orange juice. Florida's orange crop and orange industry has been decimated over the last decade, and the situation is getting worse. In my opinion, it may never get better. Hurricanes have ravaged the citrus groves and wiped out whole areas of growers. Citrus diseases spread by wind from hurricanes have taken a toll too. Diseases like citrus canker has eaten away many viable groves and damaged others permanently. Some growers have simply given up and sold their land to aggressive real estate developers. And those are trees that will never come back online. A permanent loss. Another ongoing challenge for the industry is the migrant workers. Once abundant and a staple to the harvesting industry are now scarce. Homeland security crackdowns have intimidated workers and led many of them to flee or seek other work. Many orange growers are beside themselves when they have oranges on the trees. And, and that's literally money growing on trees with nobody to pick them. Usually the fruit falls on the ground and rots. The impact of freezing temperatures can also be devastating. For example, in the winter of 1983 to 84, a single cold snap around Christmas destroyed over $1 billion worth of the citrus crop in Florida. Louisiana lost 80% of its citrus crop. Tennessee estimated $15 million in agriculture losses and Texas experienced hundreds of millions of dollars in crop damage, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. As the long cold winter sets in, you can load up on OJ in several ways. The most direct way to take a position in orange juice is by using the futures and options market, which offers good liquidity, but can be somewhat thinly traded at times. If you're more risk averse, you might prefer to capitalize on weather-related agricultural losses in general by taking a closer look at some exchange-traded funds, such as the PowerShares DB Agricultural, the Elements Rogers International Commodity Agriculture ETN, and the Market Vectors Agribusiness ETF. All of these funds have a good weighting toward crops, including orange juice, that can be severely impacted by sub-zero temperatures. Regardless of which vehicle you think is best for your particular investing, bundle up your portfolio for a long, cold winter and lock in some hot profits. I'm Kevin Kerr for Money and Markets TV. Thanks for watching.